The new Samsung Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 just launched. Same with the Nothing Phone 3 and even the Vivo X200 FE launched just this month. But it doesn't end there. There's even more phone releases to come in the Burr months. And as a tech creator, I know that this is one of the busiest time in the year when it comes to brands just launching their phones and stuff. I get you not, there are so many phones coming out and so much tech advancing and I do feel like it's such a great time in technology. But let's be honest, it also means it's such a great time for online scams. Now I'm Filipino and fun fact, Filipinos are the top users of the internet and the Philippines is a global leader in social media use. With 98.9% using chat and messenger services, that's higher than the global average. And and 91.3% of users using the internet for important stuff like banking or investments. Despite those stats, according to a recent survey, 77% of Filipinos have encountered a scam. Let me know if you've encountered a scam. Comment down below. But yeah, in this video, we're going to be talking about something a little different. An app that might just help you not get scammed. At the end of the day, I talk about a lot of these phones and gadgets. Today, what we're doing is we're talking about protecting ourselves with those new gadgets and making sure we're safe with our technology use. Good day, you beautiful people. Today, we're going to be talking about an app that will help you counter scams and block scammers because I can't even with the number of scams we've been seeing on the news lately. This is the Who's Call app and this works on Android and iOS. Let me explain what this does. Who's Call is pretty cool because you can upload screenshots on here of possible scams. Example, you get an SMS saying that you have a package and for you to click a link to be able to receive the package, you can just screenshot that, upload it to the Who's Call app and the app will tell you if this is likely a scam. So this app, Who's Call, is not necessarily new in the game. They're known for caller ID features that detect scam numbers. And yes, this is still a feature that's available on the app right now. But basically, they've been in the business of cybersecurity for a while now. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what this app can do, how it works, and even why you should trust them. Right, so step one is to download the app. Like I said, Who's Call is available on Android and iOS. And of course, the safe and only way to download the Who's Call app would be to go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And nowhere else, downloading from these official stores would ensure that you get the right app, that you're not getting scammed with some fake app, because it would suck to get scammed trying to download an anti-scamming app. Now, after downloading this app, another thing to note is that you will need to give the app permissions. And as a general rule, you don't like to just be giving permissions to every app that you've downloaded. But remember, this is an app that's supposed to screen messages that come into you or links that you open. And so to properly screen those things, it's gonna need to see those things. And that's why you need those permissions. Now, since you're giving all those permissions to this app, you must be thinking, why should I trust them? Number one, well, this app has been around. Who's Call is by a company named Gogoluk, headquartered in Taiwan, and they've been in business since 2012. But it's not just the longevity. Gogoluk has partnered with police and even reputable NGOs, and they've also partnered with legitimate private companies. But not only that, they are certified and they adhere to international standards when it comes to privacy. Now, moving on, the burning question, yes, there is a free tier for this app. So so in order to use this, you won't even need to be paying a monthly subscription. However, if you feel like you want more security features, there is a premium Who's Call tier that you can pay for. And you guys, I'm also going to be giving you a code that you can use so that you can unlock more features on the Who's Call app. Surprise! All you need to do to redeem is type in this URL. And once you're there, just make sure you're signed onto your account and just enter your gift code and you're good to go. Okay, so this app has many, many, many features. We're gonna go through them really quickly and we're also gonna be talking a little bit about how this app works. So first off, we have Caller ID. So basically how this works is that Who's Call already has a database of scam and spam numbers. This whole database was built from people reporting scams, from official reports on spam and scam counts. And also remember those partnerships that they have with government agencies and telecoms and reputable organizations. Well, that's also what adds to this growing database. So basically what happens is when 
when a scam number tries to call you or message you, whose call will be able to access that information and cross-check from their database to see if that person who's trying to reach you is trying to scam you. Okay, so in the middle of shooting this, someone was calling my phone. I didn't know the number, but whose call told me who it was? Love it! So whose call can identify spam and scam calls? And on the premium tier, it can auto-block them. But wait, you can still check on the free who's call tier. All you need to do is go to the check tab, input the number, and see from there if this person is or isn't a scammer. It's actually that easy and the premium tiers make it even easier. As someone who changes their phones out a lot, and I hate to admit this, but I actually do not have a functioning phone book. This is pretty useful and I'm gonna be using this on every single person who tries to contact me from now on. The next feature is called Web Checker and you guessed it, it checks, well, if the URLs you're visiting are malicious. Pretty simple in the same tab, type in the URL instead of the number and then you get the result. But that's not all. There's also Auto Web Checker and this uses VPN technology to check if the sites you visit are connected to any sketchy other websites. You can turn this on and this will run in the background and basically you can live your best life on the internet and they will check for you and notify you if there is a risk detected and voila! Protected. <laughs> the next feature we have is called ID security and in a nutshell this will check if your personal data has been compromised on the internet. All you need to do is go to the protection tab, tap ID security and enter either your phone or email, tap next. This actually says that my my email has been compromised. I absolutely didn't know that. Just by shooting this video, I have learned something. I need to fix this. But see? See how useful? What did I do? It's compromised. So email is compromised. Ha! Thank you, Who's Call. So when I tap Instagram associated... <gasps> is it from Instagram? So let's tap this Instagram associated date leak. And it says here, information exposed. They saw my email. It shows you the date that the info was leaked. Right. Okay. Again. Good to know. We're gonna fix this after the video. But you see how important it is to check? Anyway, the next feature that I'm gonna be talking about is called Content Checker and this was what I was talking about earlier. Basically, if you get, for example, a message and if you're lazy like me, I just screenshot everything, go to the Check tab, tap Upload Screenshot, and then Start Detection. In this feature, Who's Call uses AI to analyze what's in your screenshot and then cross-check from their database if it's a known scam. I will say though that this is a pretty new feature and according to who's call. This is a feature that gets better and better the more people use it and report stuff. And so while this feature might not be as accurate as say for example the caller ID which is backed by who's call's database that they've had years and years to build on, this content feature is something new that they're working on. Right now there's still a margin of error but as you can imagine this is just gonna get better from here. The next two features are features that help you never hear from from these scammers again and two it helps you help other people never hear from these scammers ever again i'm talking about number reporting and number blocking so basically after looking up a number you can one block this number so you never have to hear from them again or you could help identify this number by tapping here and then you can even report as spam so now they'll have this number in the database don't fret though because even if you can report numbers here as spam or scam numbers they do have people looking at the report so you can't just <laughs> report a random number and say they're scammers now for the basic and the premium tiers, you get more perks, of course. Aside from the auto spam and scan blocker, you also get URLs in SMS automatically scanned. You don't get ads on the premium tier. And for both those paid tiers, and don't worry because the code that I gave you covers the basic tier. For both tiers, the database for the scam and spam stuff, they're automatically updated. If you're on the free tier, all you need to do is make sure that every now and then you go to the protection tab, check updates, and that's all. This scam database is updated frequently. Every time someone reports or every time whose call gets new information, it is added onto the database. And by updating, you get that information as well. 
for today's video. Hopefully, this is useful for you guys. Hopefully, this app is something you can download for added security. Don't forget, I have a code for you guys for when you download this app. You can just add this. In today's fast-paced world, good tech doesn't just come in the form of flashy gadgets. Good tech is also apps like Who's Call, which quietly run in the background that lets you enjoy technological advancements, but with peace of mind. And that's it for today's video, you guys. I cannot believe I caught an info leak just doing this video. Thank you, Who's Call. Just remember, para sure ka, dapat all mag Who's Call. Also, don't forget, we have a gift code for you guys. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time.